the number one way we want to use these embeddings is something called semantic search. Because every every sentence or uh, you can kind of break up the text however you want, we call it chunks. We map it to this vector space. And the idea is, is that in vector space, uh, you basically have clusters of similar sentences. So when you search like a query saying, hey, hello, uh, find all the documents that are semantically similar to hello. So they might not have the word hello. It might be like, like aloha or, uh, or something like that, like another language. But if the embedding captures the meaning of hello, it'll still return that document. So in that way, vector search can actually outperform just standard turn-based search. But we find in our, in our testing that that's also not enough. So even combining these two methods together to get hybrid, uh, you're getting the best of both worlds. But what we find is, is that you need a second step, which we call L2, where you basically take the output of this hybrid step and re-rank it. So what happens is we basically say, hey, here's the documents that returned, we returned to match this query. We're going to basically run it through our Bing models that actually it's kind of similar models to what you use for Bing search. And it basically takes in the original query you sent. It takes in the documents and then it says, hey, you know what? For this query, we actually think the document that Azure Search put in the fifth position, it's actually the best results. And when we benchmarked it against Beer, which is a really common information retrieval benchmarking data set, we found we can kind of outperform the competition.